I couldn't be prouder of the effort from our guys. Um, they played hard. They played tough. Uh, commitment to, to do more for each other uh, could not have been more evident from, from what we've been able to do the last two weeks. And uh, you know, the turnaround from, from last time we played this team is, is, uh, is something I think these guys should really uh, be proud of. And uh, we're going to use that as motivation going forward in this program. Tough game, doesn't go your way. It's hard to end a season, uh, certainly when you lose to a rival, but all the credit to Maryland. That is as good of a team as I've seen in a while. Um, they are they are going to be a tough out for anybody. Questions? Uh, yeah, for anyone who wants to answer, um, just reflecting on you know, the journey with this team and you know, the years past, um, you know, just now, uh, how can you reflect on your own time uh, at Hopkins, whether it just be this year or you know, your whole career? Yeah, I mean, my experience here has been nothing but the best. I know I love all those guys in the locker room and all the guys that have come before me and the coach says it all the time. There's a long blue line that holds a standard. And this program is more than one person. And I'm honored and, and humbled to be even in the same conversation as a player that's been here. And it's been nothing but the best experience and I would recommend it to anyone else. And it's really been a dream come true. Early in the second quarter, you guys tied at 4-4. At that point, what changed? You know, I think that when we tied at 4-4, um, we kind of faded from the game plan a little bit. You know, we were having lengthy possessions where everyone was touching the ball, and we took some opportunities early in, early in the possession and early in the offense that unfortunately didn't work out, um, and it kind of gave them an opportunity to kind of put their foot on the gas. But, I mean, credit to that team. They're a great team, and they take advantage of slip-ups and and, uh, and poor shot placement, I guess. So they were up and out a little bit earlier than, than anticipated. Yeah, Coach, uh, Coach Tillman had spoken earlier week saying that he knew they were going to see a different Hopkins team this week. He was no doubt in his mind that uh, they would be fired up, and they certainly, you certainly were. What, what were some things you might have changed between the first game to this game to where you were so much more competitive in this game? And, you know, what would we have done differently last time? Yeah, but what was the difference this time? Um, I think uh, there's some obvious things that we did differently uh, and better this week. Um, you know, we had some better possessions. We played a little bit tougher on defense. We, uh, you know, played the ball a little bit better, rotated quicker. We won some more face-offs than we did last time. Um, but I, I don't think this is a discredit to any of the guys on the team. I think we got a little rattled last time, and, and this team is 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 impressive. And I think we, uh, you know, we felt like we were going to be in a good place, and, and we got shook pretty early. And I think that. Uh, you know, set us back, and I think we we needed to work harder to be uh, a little bit more uh, disciplined, a little bit mentally tougher. I think that would have helped us more than anything last time. I don't I, I don't think it would have it would have been an, a strategic adjustment. I think we just needed to get ourselves uh, a little bit more focused, and 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 we spent a lot of time the last uh, few days talking about that going into this. You know, just just how how selfless and how how. Uh, how well can we commit to each other and just, just you know, executing the game plan is the simplest way possible.